this holiday season, sometimes it's nicer to be naughty. But no matter what, you're still on our list. Visit a Bravado Wireless store for the best holiday deals on the hottest phones. At Bravado Wireless, we believe in the power of connection. Midwest City senior quarterback Preston Colbert put up monster numbers in their first round win over Sepulpa to advance to the semifinals for the second straight year. That's why he's this week's selection for the Bravado Wireless Player of the Week on OKPreps.com. The Midwest City star is no stranger to the spotlight as he won this award last year. Colbert threw for over 300 yards and five touchdowns, running for nearly 100 yards and three touchdowns. Colbert talks about what he can do now that he's 100%. Um, I feel that with my injury coming out, uh, my teammates have stepped up a lot. The coaches have made plays and got us in the right positions. Um, I, I, I mean, I worked out this offseason, uh, got, got better, obviously. But I put all my success and everything that we've done, all the touchdowns and all that, in my teammates and my coaches. Colbert has put up monster numbers over the last month, and he continued that in their first round win. Colbert's performance reminded him of his younger days playing video games. Uh, it was surreal. Uh, I kind of thought about it and playing like back back when I was little, middle school, playing NCAA, creating players, road to glory. That, it just reminded me of that, and uh, I was very happy that I was able to put the, put up those numbers with along my, alongside of my brothers, and they helped me to do that. Colbert missed some time earlier this season, but has shown the state that he's back to full strength and head coach Darrell Hall has witnessed what his star quarterback can do when he's at full strength. He had a great game Friday night. I think he counted for over uh, had 300 and something yards passing and 92 rushing on his own um, and five touchdowns. I mean, in the last two weeks, he had a uh, week uh, against Choctaw week eight, uh, week nine, he had three rushing touchdowns and three passing touchdowns. The following week, he had four passing touchdowns and two rushing touchdowns. So he's been on fire lately, and that's good for us. The Bombers are into the 6A Division II semifinals, facing a Bixby team that beat them in the semifinals a year ago. Colbert talks about that loss and how much it's driven him. Uh, I would say since since we lost that game, every day, uh, I've there hasn't been a day that has passed that I have not thought about that game. Uh, hopefully we can get that revenge that we want. This is Michael Knight reporting from Midwest City, Oklahoma for OKPreps.com.